What's up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to the Lento Metal, and it's time for another edition of uh, Scrapbook, Rock and Metal Scrapbook, whatever you want to call what I've been doing. These last few videos where I'm just showing my scrapbooks full of rock and metal memorabilia. Um, this will probably be the last one I do for a while because I want to start doing some other videos again. Going to continue the series on thrash metal, uh, thrash metal A through Z. Going to get to F, and um, going to do another vinyl update soon. So um, this will probably be the last one of these I do for a little while, but. It's kind of a cool book, a little different than the other ones. I'm not showing a bunch of pictures of bands, although there is some stuff obviously in the front cover like the rest of them. Love this sticker, I'm a vinyl junkie, which is true. Um, so let's get right into it. This book is all full of guitar picks. And as you can see, these uh, this first set is all Nugent picks. Uh, dating all the way back to the 70s, these picks I have here. A lot of them are from the uh, 80s, some are from the 90s, some are from the damn Yankees. Um, yeah, most of my most of the picks are two sided, as these are. God Guns and Rock and Roll, Blood Brothers, Uprising, TedNugent.com, Ted Nugent ninety five. There's your damn Yankees. Another damn Yankees. Spirit of the Wild. There's a Marco Mendoza base pick with Ted Nugent's logo on the other side. Um, I can tell you that uh, some of these picks were purchased. Some of them were given to me um, by Ted Nugent himself. Some of them I caught in concert. I've seen Nugent in concert some 15 times or more. This is probably one of the oldest ones right here. Uh, the old, I don't know what you, what you call that, marble like look with the uh, the gold foil stamped Ted Nugent logo. Derek St. Holmes pick as well in here. Yeah, some of them are used, some of them are never used. This one up here, this damn Yankees pick was actually used by Ted. Uh, next page is also full of Nugent picks. So we've got uh, these top three picks, which all look the same, are all Barry Sparks picks. Um, and you can kind of see them here. I don't know how much glare I'm getting, sorry if I am. Um, and I, all three of these were caught by my wife and I when we saw uh, Ted Nugent at the, uh, um, the, it wasn't the launch pad, it was the Sunshine Theater in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So from the Crave Man, this is a, a, a tech pick. Ted Nugent Blood Brothers is a black uh, Jack Blades uh, damn Yankees pick. Uh, this pick, all these picks right here, these all these ones in this section right here were all given to me by Ted Nugent in, in 2008. Um, this is a Ted Nugent um, Greg Smith bass player pick, and this is also uh, in way I remember, you know, going to concerts over the years. I've, I'd always be like right up front against the the the, the, the barriers and. Um, the barriers <laughs> and you know every once in a while you see a guitar player or a bass player or what some throw a bunch of picks out and a bunch of them would land in the front in that like area where the security is and um you know of course the security guys are always jerks they would never give any to anybody else they just grab the whole lot of them stick them in their pocket and you know just give you the sneer i don't know i've never met a, a, a security guard at a concert really that was very nice <laughs> but uh when i went to this ted Nugent show in 2008 um, Ted had given me, I'm, I'm talking just a handful of guitar, these guitar picks, just a ton of them. And so I, I kept, I had them all in my pocket. Um, I did not have any of the Barry Sparks picks, I mean Greg Smith picks, excuse me. So um, Greg Smith threw these guitar picks out and one of them landed in front of me and dropped down the ground and I, of course, wanted it. Um, so I stuck it in my pocket. Well, then I'll, these people behind me were begging me to give, give them the pick. So I reached in my pocket and I had, you know, all the Nugent picks that he had given me. They look like these here, the different ones. So I handed them out to a bunch of the different kids in the front row and they just thought I was the greatest guy ever. Uh, of course, after the show, more people started coming up and saying, Hey, you have any more picks? <laughs> but I didn't give any more out. But I, I, just, I just know how it feels, you know, to see somebody in the, that security pit in the front and uh, see them catch a bunch of picks and then they won't give one to you. Um, so it was cool to be able to give some somebody else. Anyhow, Rolling Thunder 08 tour, and I think the newest one I have, I have one newer one in here too, from that's newer than 2008, but I don't know, I can't remember which is which, there's so many on here, there's a uh, Love Grenade pick, 
lots of Crave Man picks with the, the stick figure. More picks here, and more Nugent picks. This is the last of the Nugent picks, I promise. There's lots of other bands in here. Um, some new, this, this is actually, here's a newer pick. This is from Trample the, Trample the Dead uh, pick. This is from like 09 or 10 or something like that, I think. Some older Nugent picks from the, these guys are from the 80s. A couple of PV Crave Man picks. Anyhow, lots of Ted Nugent picks in my in my pick collection. Uh, next page is all Kiss. Another favorite band. Some of these are Kiss or Kiss related. Um, one of the newest picks I have right here, Kiss Rocks Vegas 2014. Uh, a couple of Psycho Circus. Some Farewell Full Tours picks from Ace Freely. Um, see how if the camera will focus on those or not. But those, uh, yeah, those are actually, Ace had a different set of picks made up for every single show that he would show out. And it's hard to see it, but it's Farewell Tour 2000, Ace Freely, Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is the first time I saw the Farewell Tour. And this one here is Albuquerque 2004, which is the other one I saw. I mean 2000, excuse me, not 2004. But you can see Ace Freely's signature on the other side. Some Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons signatures on here. This is actually a promo pick that came inside the... Uh, one of the Ace Freely solo CDs, and I actually have another, I actually have the solo album with the pick in it still, but this is the one I, I picked up separately. Here's a Gene Simmons Crazy Nights 1987 um, pick, which I did see that show too. Can't say that I found that pick there, it was actually a friend grabbed that pick and I got it from him. This is the Ace Freely promo pick. Freely's Comet uh, Birthday Bash 02 guitar pick. Is a, this bottom one is a Peter Chris guitar pick. I'm not sure what Peter Chris had guitar picks for, except to throw out to people, but right on. <laughs> uh, this next batch is also a bunch of Kiss related ones on the top. ESP is the Eric Singer project, and this is the entire band. So you've got uh, Richie Cotchin, uh, Eric Singer. Uh, is that Bruce Kulik? I can't remember now. I used to know all the names of all the guys in the band. Anyhow. Then we've got uh, Eric Carr, Rockology pick, a few Vinnie Vincent picks, a Freely's Comet pick, which I believe is from the 80s as well. Another Freely's Comet pick, a couple of Kiss, uh, new Kiss tribute band picks, gotkisstribute.com, a little bit of blood from Gene's thumb on there, or, you know, the guy playing Gene, God of Thunder, and then um, this is a uh, Kiss Freaks pick. Now on the bottom here, we got all Overkill picks. And I can tell you that three of these picks I got from the show when they played in Albuquerque at the, uh, at the launch pad. And apparently the people at the launch pad thought I was part of uh, Overkill's security or, the, or their roadie or whatever because I, the place was packed. People were just smashed together like sardines. The place was hot, soaking wet. I went with my bass player and guitar player from Ultimatum, and they were just drenched. Um, Rob broke his glasses because <laughs> it was just it was just crazy. But I watched from the side of the stage, and it was awesome. And um, got several guitar picks on that show uh, from Dee Dee Verney. Some of these are older ones. We got uh, Joe Kamu. Uh, I can never remember pronounce that guy's name. Also was Annihilator for a while. Uh, Merrick Gantz. This is uh, Dave Linsk. All the rest are all Dee Dee Verney picks. Little Dee Dee Verney as a vampire there all right now we started getting into pages of different picks uh, not full band pages of picks like in here uh, this is got some accept picks and all these were caught uh, at a show I saw in Hollywood California um, a couple ACDC promo picks and Aerosmith promo pick Absalon which is a um, progressive metal band uh, Randy Gregg from Angel um, this is when Randy was, you know, playing Angel for a while, and one of two Angel picks that I own. The other one's actually in a frame. And all these animal picks are um, from the former members of Wasp when they were touring. As so, you got Chris Holmes here, Randy Piper, uh, Chris Laney, and this is also a Piper pick um, when they were touring as Wasp. Blando from uh, Slaughter, I believe, uh, Three Inches of Blood on the bottom. Shane in Blood. This is another one that I actually caught at a show. Uh, this page is mostly Anthrax picks. Actually, this page is 
almost all Anthrax picks except for the very bottom. So uh, for a while in the 90s, uh, not 90s, it was 90s, 2000s, whatever, um, Anthrax are pretty unpopular, metal un unpopular. And some of these picks, I just I contacted the band and got them online. Um, you got Bart Simpson pick here from uh, Dan Spitz. A few, few Frank Bello picks. Another Dan Spitz guitar pick here. Amazing. This is a Belladonna pick from his solo days. And let's see, it's a uh, Paul. I can't remember the guitar player's name. I can't read his autograph. So, um, bunch of uh, Scott Scott Ian picks. Scott Ian's uh, signature pick. An older Anthrax Scott Ian pick. Anyhow, just all Anthrax picks. And on the very corner down here is a Black Eyed Susan pick. Not sure why that's on the page here, but probably just because that's where it fit. <laughs> Uh, and the $30 sticker, I didn't pay $30 for any guitar pick, count, count on that. I'm not going to make sure why that $30 sticker is stuck on there. Because I didn't pay $30 for, for no pick. <laughs> and I put all my picks, as you can see, in these coin holders. So we got uh, see some Brainstorm, a bunch of Britney Fox picks. Uh, cheap Trick picks, Rick, all Rick Nielsen picks. Um, all of them pretty cool. Um, this one here is pretty stage used and abused as you can see uh, the finger the the cheap trick is almost wore off special one album a couple of pictures of Rick Nielsen on these ones and this is from my I understand this is an older um, cheap trick pick from like the very early 80s and then uh, a bunch of Cinderella picks here and the Sierra Thungle and I picked it I actually purchased a shirt from the guitar player, one of the guitar players from Sierra Thungle, and he sent the guitar picks along with the shirt. Some Alice Cooper Town, which is Alice's restaurant in Phoenix, that's where those are from. Uh, so you got the uh, local band up top here. This is Dark Truth. Bunch of different deliverance picks. And uh, you can see the, uh, let's see, we got uh, George Ochoa. And I actually caught that pick when George was playing with Vengeance Rising. Um, and he threw that pick out and I caught it and I've had it ever since. Uh, Mike Grotto, who played with Deliverance and Recon. And this pick here without a signature on the back of it actually used to belong to um, Glenn Rogers. Of course, Glenn played in Deliverance and Vengeance and Steel Vengeance, Hyrax and Heretic, among other uh, bands. So, uh, And then he's just all Deliverance promo picks down here. Um, the much hated What a Joke reissue cover, the hamburger and french fry cover. Everybody hated it, including the band, but it became a pretty collectible thing. And if you had pre-ordered it, you got the guitar pick. The only Dirty Looks guitar pick I've ever seen. A promo pick for Turn of the Screw. Um, the rest of these these two spots down here are all Dio picks. So we've got uh, Vivian Campbell, Tracy G, Vivian Campbell, Jimmy Bain. Um, of course, who just recently passed away. Jeff Pilson from who played in Dokken, also played with Dio. Yeah. Ro uh, Rowan Robertson, who played on one album for him as well. And on the bottom here, these are all Trans Siberian Orchestra picks. I don't even remember what all the different ones are. Paul O'Neill. Chris Caffrey. Moving on. You got some Earth Crisis up top. Uh, two F5 picks. F5 was a, a local band from Phoenix, Arizona, who had who had bass player um, David Ellison from Megadeth in it for a while uh, when he was not in um, Megadeth. Falcon, which is a side project of one of the guys from Sirius Ungol. Fate's Warning, another Dark Truth pick, local, like I said, local band. Uh, Farner pick, Death Angel pick, uh, Huntress. The, uh, this Earth Crisis pick up here, I actually got at a show, but not from Earth Crisis. Um, I was at a show and I just looked down, there was a pick on the floor, I picked it up and it was an Earth Crisis pick. They weren't even playing that show, so I'm not sure what the deal was with that one. Halford, um, this is a Helix pick. Uh, kind of hard to see, but it's a, a black pick on a camouflage. So you can't see it because it's camouflaged. <laughs> Another Helix pick here. Yeah, it's only two. I only have two Helix picks. 
a uh, couple, uh, I should say a couple of, four Dark Angel picks off from the 2014 reunion tour. Um, all these were given to me by Ron Reinhardt. We have arrived 2014. Great White pick. Mark Kendall. And this is a, uh, I can't never pronounce his last name either. I think it's Katrick. But Robert Katrick, who played in several different bands over the years. Um, I remember Doro was one of the ones he played in. And I remember what other bands he played in. Moving on. Top Raw Fireball Ministry, all caught at a show, or uh, I actually worked for them one time when they played at the launch pad in Albuquerque. Um, I told you earlier about, you know, the launch pad thinking I was a roadie for overkill. Well, I actually did help these guys carry their equipment in and out, and uh, they gave me the picks, so after the show and some of them. And the other ones I caught. Uh, probably the rarest of all these is the, um, and they're hard to see because it's red on black, but this is Janice Tanaka. And uh, Janice actually was only in the band a short time. Um, and she wasn't at this show that I wrote it for. But when she, they toured with Dio, she was the bass player and she was awesome. Um, and a guy in front of me caught the Janice pick. I swear. You know, you always say at a concert and you see a guy pointing and oh, they're pointing at me, you know. Uh, I swear she pointed right at me and chucked the pick to me. I mean, she kind of gently tossed it to me. And some dude in front of me just went bananas to get that pick. And, you know, it just wasn't worth it. You know, I just wasn't going to beat the guy's head in because he took the pick that I thought was mine. <laughs> so, uh, instead, uh, after the show, I, I sent a little email off to, and it was the last day of their show, I believe. I sent a little email off to uh, Janice saying, saying, hey, I uh, watched the show in Albuquerque. It was awesome. Um, almost caught a pick and was bummed out I didn't catch it. And I just, you know, I just talked to her and told her how much I enjoyed the show. Um, and she contacted me and said, yep, she remembered who I was. Um, and uh, she actually sent me an autographed poster. Um, so signed it to me and sent the pick. So I was kind of surprised she remembered who I was, but she did. Fozzy, Jack Frost, played in Sabotage for a while. These are all Jack Frost picks of from different bands he's been in. Um, Forbidden pick. I remember what guitar player this was. Galactic Cowboys, Monty Colvin. Uh, this is a Randy Gregg pick, um, I believe from Thin Lizzy. Buddy Holly Center guitar pick. Halloween, Heaven and Hell. Um, Havoc. This is another one that I got at a show. Hammerfall. Not one that I got at a show. I wish it was. I did see Hammerfall, but that's that's actually, I, I believe, a promotional pick. Angelo Spino from Heretic. Um, I actually played in Once Dead with Angelo. Um, this is Angelo Spino also from Hyrax. So you got Angelo from Hyrax, Angelo from Heretic. These are all Glenn Rogers picks from Hyrax and Heretic. Uh, these little jazz style picks is what he prefers to play with. Uh, one of them is actually personally signed. I believe it's this one on the top corner here. Um, 5H or Holy Soldier, which is what you have here. And that's what those are. And there's one from each of the guitar players. Uh, my band Ultimatum and my band Once Dead played a show with them one summer. And that's where I got those picks from. Jackal. Uh, Jag Panzer. Judas Priest Demolition. Uh, promotional pick. Killer Dwarfs. King's X. Uh, a few King's X picks. They're all Doug Pinnock picks. Love King's X. Liberty and Justice promotional pick. A Lizzie Borden pick. Another one that I caught at the show. Another one that I caught at the... Um, well, not, no, this was the Lost Business. It's the Sunshine Theater. It was Lizzie Borden and Wasp. Great show. You got Hyrax, Mexican death metal band Lament. Uh, Akira from Loudness. Very unusual shaped pearl style pick. And I'm not sure how well that's going to come across, but it's stamped um, with silver foil. And on the back, you can see his name. Uh, this is uh, Mad Max, these two picks here. Um, played a show with them in Switzerland, and that's where those picks came from. A couple of Mass picks, a couple of Megadeth picks. Dwayne Rowland from Molly Hatchet. Uh, October 31st, this is um, Hailstorm, Brian Hailstorm Williams guitar pick. Uh, this is a Raven pick from Extermination. This actually came with the pre orders for that album. Um, this used and abused pick right here which is hand signed, is also a Raven pick and it was definitely used on stage. Uh, signed by John Gallagher and Mark Gallagher. 
uh, Pink, which I don't know anything about, um, other than she's some kind of pop star. Um, but this pick was Janice Tanaka, and when she left um, Fireball Ministry, she went and toured with Pink for quite a while. And when she sent me the other picks later on down the road, she sent me a Pink pick. So she remembered who I was, like I said. And later on, when she joined Pink, she just, for no apparent reason, just sent me a Pink pick in the mail, which is very cool. Trooper pick, uh, Canadian hard rock band Trooper. Uh, these are all Shades of Crimson, a, a prog metal band from California. And um, the bass player from this band um, was also in Vengeance Rising for a while. This is guitarist Big Rob. All right, we're getting there. There's a lot of them, sorry. <laughs> uh, Marty Men uh, Marco Mendoza, uh, who played with Ted Nugent and, and the Reunited Thin Lizzy, among many other bands. Uh, I don't remember. Is this just a Dean Markley, Marco Mendoza pick? Metallion, a Steve Morris pick, a few Motorhead picks. Uh, now this one I did catch at a show. Motorhead at the Sunshine Theater. Went right in front of me and I grabbed it. And uh, this is another Motorhead pick. And I don't recall if I caught this at a show or not. I'm thinking maybe Rob Whitlock uh, of Ultimatum was at a show with me and he caught that pick and might have given it to me. Because I only ever caught one Motorhead pick, so... Although I've seen it many times. Uh, Mortification promotional picks. Neon Cross pick, which they did use on stage. Uh, Newstead from his solo album. Jason Newstead, of course, from uh, Metallica, Voivod, among others. Uh, underground band, thrash band called Python. Uh, is it Swedish doom metal band, Pylon? Uh, Dan Spitz of Anthrax. This is his, band. He, this is his solo band, or not, you know, his project he did with Dave Mustaine called Red Lamb. A couple of very cool Rush guitar picks, both Alex Lifeson. See his name on the other side. The Great Cat. Uh, Rivera Bama, Rivera Bama. These are Jimmy Crespo picks. Of course, Jimmy Crespo was the guitar player for Aerosmith uh, on the Night in the Rush tour. Uh, played on the on the album Rock in a Hard Place. Toured with the band until they did their rock until they did their reunion uh, in about 1983, I believe it was when they did the reunion show, the uh, Back in the Saddle tour. Um, but anyhow, Jimmy Crespo, this is a uh, these picks are from a band he was uh, he was playing in in, um, in Las Vegas called the uh, Sin City Swi Sin City Sinners, and they were a cover band and they did a few Aerosmith songs. And uh, my my friend Randy Trog and I went to uh, went to see this cover band Sin. Sin City Sinners, that's a tongue twister there. And uh, we sat down, the band comes out and they start playing, and I looked at this guy, and I'm like, I look at Randy, and I'm like, dude, that's Jimmy Crespo from Aerosmith. He looks at me and goes, no way, man, that's, that's not him. I'm like, that's Jimmy Crespo from Aerosmith. And sure enough, he was guesting on guitar that night with the Sin City Sinners. So after they did their first set, we went up and talked to Crespo, very nice guy, took a picture with him, and he gave me a couple guitar picks. So there you go. Um, that's where I got those Jimmy Crespo picks. Wish I would have known I would have going to meet him because I would have had him sign. I got this cool Aerosmith picture from like 1978, 79 of him on guitar with this awesome BC Rich that I would love to get signed by him, but alas, I didn't have it at the time. This is Eddie Starline from Recon pick. Uh, this is a Randy Rhodes induction into the uh, Rock Walk of Fame in Hollywood pick. Symphony X, Saints, which is another one that I did get at a concert. Uh, Sabotage, Jeff Sheets, who is a guitar player, most people would know he's a solo guitar player. Um, Seven Dust, this is, this is a bunch of Seven Dust picks. Um, I'm not a huge fan of new metal, but I really do like Seven Dust. I think they, the vocals in that band are just fantastic, and they write some good riffs on top of it. Um, this is a promo pick for Home, and then a whole bunch of Seven Dust picks here. You can see the back of them they have nothing on them. I think they all share. This one actually is autographed by the uh, guitar player. A um, bunch of striper picks, old and new. Some of these are from the 80s, and these are from newer tours. And you can see uh, we got uh, Tim Gaines, Robert Sweet, Oz Fox, Robert Sweet, Michael Sweet, Oz Fox, uh, Tracy, uh, blah, 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 Tracy, yeah. <laughs> Tracy, who played bass with the band for a little while, and uh, Tracy Ferry, that's it. Uh, and then another Michael Sweet pick. Michael Sweet, of course, also played with Boston for a while, and there are Boston picks with Michael Sweet's autograph on them, and I'd love to have one of those. 
Uh, let's see what we got up here. Another Marco Mendoza, Stin Lizzy. He's got the Stin Lizzy logo on it, and Marco, no, Dean's Mark on the back, the Mark League uh, strings. Thunder Rider, great heavy metal band. Uh, Twisted Sister, Eddie Ojeda. Another Twisted Sister, Eddie Ojeda. Another Twisted Sister, um, JJ French. And this crew pick here was actually given to me by Randy Trog. He went out to Vegas one time to see Twisted Sister play. I couldn't be there for that one. Um, and he scored that pick and this pick for me. The end is near. Tour 2015. JJ French. And this is, like I said, a pink crew pick. Uh, ultimatum bass pick. Ultimatum guitar pick. Another ultimatum guitar pick. This is actually a promotional pick. Um, 20th anniversary, 1992-2012. Robert Gutierrez, Rock's Signature Series 5 guitar pick. And Robert did actually have some of these. And I think he may have thrown it out from, on stage. Uh, these green guitar picks here, I took a bunch of with me when Ultimate, I mean, when Once Dead played Switzerland, and I chucked them out to the audience. Uh, Vengeance Rising, You Will Bow, that's a, a promotional pick. Bane's of Jenna, uh, recent glam metal band, Vicious Rumors, Re Reunited Viking picks. One of the best thrash metal bands around these days, Vindicator. Vic is, gr is awesome, Freedom is Dead. Uh, a Vixen guitar pick here. And just two more. Two more pages, I promise. We're getting down to it here. Um, two Wasp picks up, up here. Helderado. I think these are both... Uh, yeah, this is Blackie Lawless. And this is uh, Mike Duda. That's his name, I believe. These are pretty obscure ones from Norway. Witch Hammer. 1487. A 2005 guitar pick. Um, this was given to me by a friend who lives in Norway, Kurt Morgan. Danny Cordova. This is a Vengeance Rising pick from the 1992 tour, I believe it was. Another Witchhammer pick. Paul Nielsen, who uh, was in Sabotage for a while. Slaughter. Another Striper pick. Uh, Steve Priest from Sweet. TNT. Oh, I do have a few more Helix picks in here. Uh, I probably picked these up when I was out in, um, I did pick these up when I was out in Canada not too long ago. Brian Vollmer, Brent Domer. Yep, both those were, I forgot about those. Uh, hookers and Blow. <laughs> uh, I can't remember what the deal is with that one. Alex Rossi, guitar player. <laughs> um, Seven Witches, which is, um, this is a Jack Frost pick. Yep, Jack Frost. Uh, Tesla, Frank Cannon, who I did meet at a guitar signing, uh, guitar store one time. Uh, Tychus, local band from Phoenix, Arizona, featuring um, Randy Trog. Uh, Mishad on vocals, and Justin was a guitar player, and this is one of his picks. And a tourniquet pick. And that's it, that's it for the, except for the few that are in the back, I've got this uh, gigantic motorhead pick that's autographed and these were obviously not used sold to shows and autographed pre-autographed it wasn't an autograph I received they were sold at shows like this each show they sold so many of them that was pretty cool um, yeah let's see if I can get in here this is a uh, set of Tim Ripper Owens picks that was given to me by um, a uh, vinyl community member Joe's Record Store is the name of the vinyl community page. And these are actually, um, oh, those are just some card things, but these are actually Washburn picks for Paul Stanley. And one of these is open, and the pick is in here. And this one here, the pick is still in here sealed, so pretty cool. And I believe that's it. Yep, that's it. So, uh, let me see if there's anything on the back. I can't remember or not. Oh, just a few things on the back. Uh-oh, something fell out. All right. Here we go. There's the back. Like I said, I got stuff shoved in all these different ones. Um, this is actually an Eddie Money, Eddie Money um, ticket stub from. I didn't actually go to that show. My wife went to that show. Lace pickups. This is um, Heretic 2012. Glenn Rogers autographed this. Uh, and this is the recon sticker from the. The Recon uh, 25th anniversary that's coming out in just a uh, uh, next week, I think, is that record and CD's coming out. And then old flyer from what a killer lineup: Hyrax, 
Hollow's Eve, Fuel by Fire, Exmortis, Merciful Death, Warbringer. Man, what a great show. And that was out in uh, out in California. And that's it for this edition of uh, Rock and Metal Memorabilia. Uh, I do want to say that in the background, I was playing the entire time New Eden through the Make Believe on Sentinel Steel Records. Uh, just some fantastic U.S. power metal. Uh, I believe it's from about 1997 or so. So there you go. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. God bless. Stay strong.